My name is Chloe and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. So we are getting close, you guys. It's almost Christmas. And uh, I have taken a very long time really just to read the last book. So here it is, November 4th. Um, today my daughter, my oldest daughter, had her first basketball game and it was so fun. She plays with one of her little friends and so um, it was really, really fun and then we, um, K-State is playing Texas today, and I went to both, I have degrees from both of those schools, um, and so it's really like, it's it's a hard thing. I've got K-State um, on the outside and Texas on the inside, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. So um, that's really everything that's going on life-wise. My middle daughter has been sick. We've got the first round of cold and flu season for, um, for this year, so... It's going around. It's like a high fever, GI kind of thing. Um, I've heard it's only two or three days though, so fingers crossed and fingers crossed she's the only one that gets it. So that's really everything going on with us. Um, let's open this up and see what is inside. I picked one of the smaller ones because I've got kind of a full November TBR. And um, I have read a couple books lately that have been making me a little slumpy, so I want something good. So... Sarah Strohmeyer. I feel like I know that, but I don't know that. Uh, do I know you? Okay, do I know you? So I've been really wanting a thriller. Um, November is Historathon, so I have a TBR full of historical fiction and um, a couple like nonfiction November also. So I've really been wanting a thriller, and so this will be a good excuse. So it says, Jane Ellison is a super recognizer, able to identify strangers by the slightest facial details, the curve of a head, the arch of an eyebrow. When she spies heiress Bella Valencia at Logan Airport, she's convinced she's found the person responsible for her sister Kit's death 11 years earlier. But her attempt to detain the suspect ends with Jane herself fired and humiliated. As Bella prepares to marry Will Pease, Scion, 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 do you guys know that word? Because I don't. Um... Of the uber wealthy, influential, and ruthless Pease family, famous for their wholesome wellness and lifestyle brand on their private island off Cape Cod, Jane risks everything for the chance to expose the bride to be's crime to the world. Uh, but the deeper J Jane digs, the more she may be imperiling her own safety. Another word I don't know. Yikes. Uh, combining magnetic, wisecracking narration and a skillful, skillfully layered plot, do I know you as a gripping psychological thriller and a tale of redemption that will keep readers on the edge of their seats? So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see, uh, it's, it's bur blurbed by Al Affair Burke, and he is a co-writer in a lot of uh, James Patterson books, and yeah, this is only 330 some odd pages, 334, so, well, just dropped the book, but anyway, I'm excited, can't wait to see what I think, I will let you know, hopefully, uh, sooner than later. Hey everyone, so I'm a ways into this book, and I'm not sure, like I have not read any reviews, but I did see that it's got relatively low ratings, and I'm kind of curious why, because I'm intrigued. Um, there's a lot of characters, but so basically the premise of this book is there is this gal who works for basically like TSA, and she um, recognizes faces all the time. Like she, she can see it once, and she's got like that photographic memory where she recognizes it. So she kind of scans um, people as they come on and off flights, making sure um, everybody's safe, all the things. And she recognizes this gal who is uh, kind of semi-famous and um, she's a part of this uh, wellness family and she recognizes her face as the person who killed her sister. So she kind of freaks out and she loses her job and um, et cetera, et cetera. So then we also follow kind of the matriarch of this wellness family and uh, all the drama that is going on. Now, there's a couple things that are really confusing because um, we get both we get both perspectives of this girl trying to prove that this other gal uh, killed her sister. And then we get the perspective of the matriarch kind of trying to tell us about her family and, and cover all the wrongdoings. And um, it's interesting because there is a blended family. So there's step siblings, there's half siblings, there's ado an adopted sister and it's the adopted sister and one of the biological sons that are engaged. And that's a little weird. Um, so it's a little bit messy, but overall I'm enjoying it so far. And I'm curious to know, like, did she actually kill her sister or what's going on? So I will update more in-depth thoughts, uh, when I finish. Hey everyone. So we just got back from my daughter's second basketball game and we've got a couple hours now, um, to eat lunch, get the kids down for naps and all that before football games that we really care about start. So, um, I thought it'd be a good chance to get on here and let you know that I finished this book and I, unfortunately 
I didn't love it. I'm giving it like a three star. So it is one of those books that like really hooks you in the beginning, kind of bores you and loses you in the middle, and then like has this action packed page turning, can't stop ending. And so I like that. Like I like the ending, I like the beginning, but the middle is just, it was like the author couldn't decide really where she wanted to take the book. So she just like threw a bunch of stuff in and it all just feels like a mess. Like, it feels like it's just a mess. So, uh, basic premise, I think I told you a little bit about it. But we get this girl who she is a, her name's Jane, and she's a super recognizer. And so, she can recognize faces um, despite only meeting somebody once in different contexts, all that kind of stuff. She can recognize people's faces. So, um, she's doing this TSA-type job and recognizes this girl, um, uh, what's her name? Bella Valencia. And she's like, I think that's the lady who killed my um killed my sister but now her Bella is like this do-gooder she um goes overseas like missionary type things um but she's a part of the Pease family and the Pease family is um mega like not mega famous but well known um for their like wellness company wellness brand whatever and it is a convoluted family like their stepchildren and then Bella is adopted and um yet she is engaged to her brother and like that that was just like glossed over like they grew up together they went to boarding school together or whatever like they grew up as siblings and they are getting married and um the dad is like the patriarch of the family has died and he left like 50 percent of everything to bella despite the fact that he had like three or four other kids and um so there's like inheritance stuff going on there's mental health stuff going on there's a lot of like different uh i saw one reviewer call them schemes like they're not twists they're just like different layers that are unnecessary and just cause like chaos and so uh while i like this book and i like the way it ended uh there was so much at the end that i was like so why was that? Like, that was so unnecessary. And so it was, like, just really tangled, really, like, all jumbled up and for no real payoff. So uh, this is a three-star for me. Not the best thing. I wouldn't really recommend it, but uh, I would I would try this author again. She's not, like, because there was enough good parts that I was like, okay, I would give her another shot, but I'm not going to recommend this one. So that is my thoughts on that. Let me know if you've read it, and we'll see you tomorrow.